it's Sam. So today I'm gonna be doing, it's kind of just like a food, like I don't even know what to call it. It's a food vlog. I was gonna do a what I eat in a day, but then I ended up filming like other days as well. So it's not like what I ate in just one day. It's just kind of like my favorite recipes that I've been doing lately. So one of them was like a TikTok Instagram reel. One of them was from a, I think it was like a Vogue, actually two of them were from like a Vogue, um, supermodel what I eat in a day and they are amazing like so so good my thing I eat them all the time the other stuff is just stuff that I, I normally would eat anyway it's kind of just like a mix I don't even want to call it a what I eat in a day or even what I what, what I eat in a week it's just kind of like the foods that I love to eat <laughs> that's what I think I should call it these are really great good healthy options there's some really great vegetarian options if you guys don't eat meat but there's also one dish that the whole family loves. I used to be vegetarian. Jay and I were vegetarian for a year. Um, I ended up getting a ton of weight because I ate so many more carbs than I usually do. And so I decided to stop being vegetarian. Um, but I enjoyed being vegetarian. It was great. I just ate a lot more rice and a lot more like potatoes than I normally would eat. So I decided I should probably stop that. There's a chicken meal that that was like the TikTok Instagram one. And the kids are obsessed with it. It's Jay's favorite meal. Every time, like if I say, what would you like for dinner? He'll always request that. He loves it. If you have young kids who are, my kids are so picky. It's awful. Like I feel like they don't want to eat anything except for pasta and chicken. This one is really good because it gets them to eat vegetables. They absolutely love the veggies the way I do it. Um, who doesn't love potatoes? I mean, potatoes are a maze. And the chicken is just so moist, creamy. There's so much flavor, like it's just so good and you can never mess it up. The chicken cooks perfectly every single time. So I'm gonna be sharing these and how I make them with you guys. They are so easy. I like to do things that are really convenient that aren't gonna take me a long time. I personally hate to cook. I think it's like the biggest waste of time in my life. I absolutely hate it. Like if I could, if I was rich, I would immediately have a chef before I had a cleaner. Like I hate cooking. Cleaning, I actually quite enjoy. Cooking. I don't like it, I never have, I probably never will. But it's funny because Jay's always like, I hate that you hate cooking because you're so good at it. He's like, everything you make is so delicious. I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't say I was bad at cooking. I just don't enjoy cooking. Like for me, I just don't like doing it. Also, every time I cut an onion, it ruins my makeup and then I have to go wipe off all my eye makeup and then I'm wrecked for the day. So I really don't like doing that kind of stuff. It's the chopping. I don't like preparing. I don't mind the actual like cooking. It's like the chopping of everything. I hate chopping. A couple of these recipes, there is a little bit of like prep work, you know, you have to chop and things but oh, what is life i hope that you guys get inspired to try something new the curry chicken salad is bomb seriously the most flavorful delicious easy oh i love it it's i could eat it every single day for lunch also the um cauliflower rice salad unbelievable so colorful so beautiful if you need to take a dish to someone's home or if you're hosting it's so pretty and colorful for spring and summer it's super lightweight but it fills you up but it doesn't make you feel like super heavy and yucky afterwards so that one is like one of my all-time favorites i make that like a couple times a week it's just so delicious like you cannot obviously if you don't like salads then you're probably not gonna like it but if you like eating healthy and you like um you know trying out lots of different flavors like that one's a really good one then i just show you like a couple of like little snacks and like desserts that i like as well so i hope that you guys enjoy and find this helpful and get inspired and if you guys do decide to make these things um definitely let me know tag me on instagram or whatever i'd love to know that you guys liked them as well because i still get people commenting or like i shouldn't say commenting messaging me about recipes that i cooked years and years ago when we were vlogging they're like oh my god we still make this to this day and like it always reminds me of you and i'm like oh my god that's so cool like i love that so i mean i'm not i definitely would not say i'm like this amazing cook or i'm not a cooking channel at all far from it i hate cooking but i do try to find some good recipes that are really delicious and fresh healthy ingredients that are just like not that hard to make like you can make it super easy it's not going to take up a ton of your time if you need a good recommendation for a, a what's it called a blender vitamix we've had ours for got it in the little the little house with the loft so that was lily was two and she's nine so seven years ago highly recommend the vitamix um also my favorite pans i will link all of this stuff down below but my favorite pans are the r place pans 
They're so amazing to cook with. They're super beautiful, super easy cleanup. They just have so many pretty colors to choose from, so I would recommend those. They're a little pricey, but compared to the cheaper ones that I have, you can definitely tell the difference. Like they cook so evenly. And I think that's everything I need to tell you. So I hope that you guys find this helpful and enjoy it and get inspired to try some of the new stuff. It's a little bit all over the place. I lost some of my footage. So there's like one where it kind of just cuts into the cauliflower salad and you're like, what the crap happened? Like you didn't even say anything. I lost all of the footage before it. So um, yeah, I just don't, don't mind that. Happy cooking happy eating hopefully you guys love these as much as i do and let's go ahead and get started it is breakfast time i take the immune from modere this is what it looks like and i just pour it into this little beaker here i also take my chocolate trim this is like a weight loss little booster and also has collagen in it so that's the first thing i do and then i do a scoop of the tray biotic into the trim because the trim is like a chocolate pudding consistency i'll show you then you put the little beads of the tray biotic which i'll show you you just do a scoop and you add it to the chocolate pudding type consistency and then you just swallow it and the immune is just like a purple liquid so that's the first thing i do every single morning okay so the first thing i'm going to be showing you guys is my breakfast so this is um one of my favorite smoothies i love having a smoothie in the morning i make one for everyone it's easy i can kind of customize the smoothies depending on the pe on the people's on the kids taste or what jay wants most of the time jay phoenix or i'm sorry jay lily and i will share the same one or you know i'll make the big batch for all of us and then i'll make a separate one for phoenix but i switch it up depending on just kind of what's what i have in the freezer and like what my mood is um but smoothies i just feel like they're super easy they're a great great way to get all your fruits and they're just like easy to drink on the like if i'm late and i can have it in a cup in my car i can you know i can slurp it while i'm driving and that's usually my case so love smoothies now i'm gonna make my smoothie so i'm gonna put a banana in i'm gonna do some whole natural almonds these are like raw they're not salted or anything like a small handful put those in there then i'm gonna do a scoop of ice maybe two scoops of ice. Oh, that ice maker's so loud. I'm gonna do some almond milk. I just get the open nature one from Safeway. It's the one that says like original or unsweetened. I don't like the ones that are like sweetened with anything. So I just put, I don't know. I usually keep that out just in case I don't put enough. I'm gonna get some frozen pineapple. Put a little bit of that in. And then just a couple of peaches. I'm just going to do a big, huge handful of spinach. And I'll probably have to add a little bit more almond milk. So you can see it's such a pretty green color because the spinach. I found that when you add strawberries or blueberries, then it goes brown and then it makes me look like, it looks like gross, I don't want to drink it. So I don't like adding spinach if I'm having a strawberry one because I like it to look pink. It's all about the color. Uh, while I drink my breakfast, I, I'm gonna go and check my comments and apply, apply. I can't talk anymore, it's over. Reply to everyone, then I need to check my emails, go through all my emails. I basically just do a little bit of work Okay, next I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, my favorite lunch. I actually got inspired by a video that I saw. Um, what is her name? <sighs> Gigi Hadid's mom. I can't think of her name, but it's Gigi Hadid's mom. Um, and she was showing like what I ate in a day. It was like a Vogue or something like that. And she was talking about this um, curry chicken salad. And so I was like, oh my God, that sounds so delicious. I love curry. Uh, I love salads, so why don't I go ahead and look up a recipe. I will link the recipe that I use down below. It is super good. I slightly switched mine up a little bit, which you'll get, you guys will see in my video. Um, I can't remember what I switch up, but I think I switch up the nuts. I can't remember, but I think I switch, switch it up a slight bit. And I double my recipe because I usually make it for Jay and I, and then I make enough so that we can both have it for lunch the following day. So I will double the recipe. It's super delicious. It's fresh. It has amazing flavor. If you like curry, you're, it's like a, it's a cold curry. 
um, that you put on a salad, but it's got like a crunch because there's apples in it and there's nuts in there and like it's creamy, but it's like curry, but it's not spicy. It's just so delicious and it's really lightweight. It gets you full in the middle of the day, but it doesn't slow you down and make you sluggish so that you can still function in life and not want to go take a nap. And it's just like really, really delicious. And all you need to do is like grab a rotisserie chicken, chop up the ingredients and stick it all together and then put it on a bed of arugula. Arugula, arugula, I don't know how you say that word. I say arugula. So let's go ahead and watch how I do that one. Okay guys, it is lunch. I'm having my curried chicken salad over arugula. Seriously, you guys have to try this. It is the best recipe ever. Okay, so here's all the ingredients you need. Oh, I forgot to get the arugula, but I'll show you that in a sec. Um, you need cilantro, celery, red onion, apple, curry powder. I like cranberries. Um, the recipe calls for raisins, but oh, raisins are creepy. Mayonnaise, oh, thank you. Arugula. Um, salt. The recipe calls for cashews, but I prefer almonds. And then a rotisserie chicken. Um, and then I also do a little bit of lemon and then also avocado oil. Um, the first thing I'm going to add is a cup of mayonnaise. I'm actually doubling the original recipe just because I like to make extra so that we can have it for lunch. Um, so I'm doing a cup of mayonnaise and I just plop it in. I'll scrape all that out. Okay, then I'm going to squeeze a full lime in there. Why are limes so hard to squeeze? Next, I'm going to do four teaspoons of curry powder. I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt. You're just gonna mix all of that up and that's gonna create your sauce. And it smells so good. Okay, so there's your sauce. Okay, and then I basically just get the breast, break it up like this into like little bits. I don't like to cut it or anything. I like them to be kind of like, you know, a bit more, I don't like that gooey bit. I give that to the dogs. Just kind of, you know, random little chicken bits. So I do two full rotisserie chicken breasts in here. And that's for me and Jay for dinner tonight. And then also for lunches tomorrow. The kids don't like it because kids don't like anything yummy, do they? I don't like it when there's a vein in it. So then I give that to the dog. Creepy vein. I pull everything around the vein because I don't like the vein. You're just gonna mix all of that up so that all the chicken gets all nice and I was gonna say moisturized <laughs> ah, was the right word <laughs> all nice and moisturized what would you call this covered babe um, all nice and moisturized moisturized is good <laughs> this is the most honest it's like aesthetically unpleasing Tupperware or not Tupperware whatever okay I'm gonna add my apples so this is one full apple and it's just diced, as diced as I can do. I'm not really good at chopping person. I really don't like cooking, but when you're a mom and a wife, you kind of have to, so here I am. You're gonna make it moisturized. <laughs> Beauty influencer tries to cook. <laughs> okay, now I'm adding two sticks of celery, chopped up, small, like, that type of size. Mix that in. I'm gonna take four tablespoons of very, very small diced red onion, maybe five. Okay, now I'm just gonna add like a handful of chopped cilantro, just a little bit more than a handful. I suppose it depends on how big your hands are. Okay, then I'm gonna add a half a cup of cranberries. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of chopped sliced almonds. So I just kind of chop them a little bit. And then I'm just gonna mix all of that together so that everything is all mixed and it's colorful. Okay, so this is my arugula. I have that um, divvied out. And basically, I'm just gonna scoop. I don't like really measure it. I just like 
put some on top so that it looks like enough. <laughs> I don't really ever decide. Yeah, like that looks quite good, doesn't it? I think so. So I do the same, I do less for me because I'm smaller than him. So I usually do about that for me. And then I just squeeze a little bit of lemon on both. And then I just drizzle a little bit of olive oil. And that is it. That's all you do. It's mainly just chopping. But that is what it looks like. So it's really just like, oh, so fresh. So many yummy ingredients. It is delicious. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you just mix it all together and eat it. And it's so yummy. Oh, this is the life right here, guys. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of episodes of Kardashians while I eat my lunch. Now I'm having one of these. They're the sea salt caramel poppables from Yasso. These are so yummy, you guys. They, um, I got them from Safeway. And here is the deets. So I just eat one, and I'll show you what they look like. They're super good. If you have a sweet tooth, I just have a problem. I can't just eat a a savory thing and not have something yummy. So usually I'll have like a sugar-free jello, but this is even better. Look at that view. And then watch. Mmm. Did you guys hear that crunch? Oh my god. So amazing. Oh, I'm gonna lose that piece of chocolate. Okay guys, it is, uh, I don't even know what time it is, afternoon time. Kids are home from school. I am having a little snack. So this is what I'm having, it's just an avocado, and then I use the Everything Bagel um, seasoning from Trader Joe's. And that's, actually I might have just a cup of hot water with lemon. That's what I'm gonna do right now. This one is a, I think it was a TikTok, Instagram, whatever. I feel like they're the same, they're, it's all the same stuff. But anyway, um, this was from, what is his name? Keto Craig's, or Keto Craig? I think it's Keto Craig's. Um, anyway. He made this like, I think he called it like a chicken caprese, chicken caprese, I don't know how he says it, but um, it's basically like a chicken, is it considered a casserole? I'm not really sure, but it's like a chicken dish that you bake and it is so delicious. And I paired off with air fryer potatoes and Brussels sprouts and carrots and it is so delicious. I will link down the uh, air fryer that I use. It's so beautiful. It's by beautiful, it's beautiful by Drew Barrymore from Walmart. I love it. It's so gorgeous. It works amazingly. Um, but this is a really good, like, everyone can enjoy. The kids love it. Jay loves it. It's hearty enough for men to where they're like, I've had meat and potatoes. It's filling, but it's not super duper heavy to where I feel like crap afterwards. When I have like a meat and a potato kind of meal, I usually will feel like, oh, I'm so sluggish. I feel like poop. I just like, oh, I don't want to do anything. And with this one, it's light enough to where I don't feel crappy afterwards, but it's filling enough to where I'm like, I had a good meal. Um, and it's super easy, but it feels like you've had like this amazing roast dinner. Like it's so good. So it is dinner time. I'm starting to make dinner for tonight. So in here, I've got some mini gold potatoes that I just cut into like, depends on how big they were, but either quarters or eighths. I've got salt, pepper, and um, avocado oil. And then I'm just gonna chop up some rosemary. So I just like to pull it off and then just cut it into like little bits and sprinkle it on the potatoes and then I air fry these. So I'll show you guys how I do it once I get the rosemary chopped up. But this one is just like, the, it's the living one. I feel like it smells really fresh when it has the dirt in it. <laughs> okay, so that is what it looks like once it has um, all the rosemary on it. And I'm gonna pop that into the air fryer, but I won't turn it on yet until I have all of my other stuff completed and then I'll show you. Okay, so I, my air fryer has two se separate sections. So on one side, I'm gonna put the potatoes and on the other side, I'm gonna put my Brussels sprouts. So I just like cut off the end bit and then half them. And then I uh, peeled some carrots and then made them into little sticks. And then I put avocado oil, salt, and pepper. And I'm gonna put that in the other side of the air fryer now. Okay, so this is the chicken I get. Can you believe chicken is so expensive? $20 for three breasts, get a life. Anyway, so I'm going to rinse these and then chop them up into like little chunks, kind of like that big and then pop them in here and then I'll show you what I do next. So I've cut up my chicken breast. So I've got salt, pepper, 
and some Italian seasoning and then avocado oil. I've just mixed that all about. I totally just realized I forgot to grab tomatoes. So I just have a few little um, cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna have to add to this. But the next thing, oh, hold on, let me reach it, is this. So this is the Borson garlic and fine herbs. I'm just gonna break that up into little chunks and sprinkle that all over the chicken. Sprinkle the cheese on. This is all the tomatoes I have. How sad is that? Oh gosh. Normally I get big tomatoes and I slice like big slices covering the whole chicken, but we're just gonna have to do it like this today because I bought everything for this recipe other than tomatoes, so such is life. We're gonna stick one over there and over here, and that's just gonna be it. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some chopped thyme. Normally I use basil, but I can't find my basil. It's literally nowhere to be found. Then we're gonna top that with Parmesan cheese. Okay, I've added my thyme. I'm gonna add just a little drizzle of avocado oil, and then I'm gonna top it with Parmesan cheese. Okay, so you're just gonna have like a good layer. Keep in mind, normally there's a way more tomatoes. It's covering the whole thing, but if you don't have a brain like me, this is what you have to do. So that's gonna go in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna add some a different kind of cheese. This is the beautiful by uh, Drew Barrymore or beautiful, yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's at Walmart. Anyway, mine has two separate sections. So I put the potatoes in here, the carrots and Brussels sprouts in here. You just close it up. It's like seriously the easiest thing ever. You press it on, you press air fry. I keep it at 400 degrees and then I usually will set it for 10 at first. Why aren't you going down? There we go. My finger's not working for some reason. There we go. Go, 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 go. So I'll check them in 10. Usually I have to take the Brussels sprouts out a little earlier than the potatoes. So I'll do it for 10. Usually the potatoes take, I would say about 25 minutes. The Brussels sprouts take just under 20. So we'll check it, but I'm gonna set it for 10 and then you just press start. And then you just let it do its thing. Okay, so the sprouts, carrots, and potatoes have been in for 19 minutes. I just added another four minutes, so all together it's gonna be, what is that, 25 minutes? So I'll probably take the Brussels sprouts and the carrots out once this is up, and then I'll probably do the potatoes for another five minutes and then I'll check them. I've just taken out the chicken, um, so now I always just like to check a piece to make sure it's okay. I'm gonna add these little slices of mozzarella, so I'm gonna add four so that it covers all of it, and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for five minutes, and then I'm gonna add it on broil to get it all like nice and brown on top. Okay guys, so this is what the potatoes look like when they're done. So all together these were in for 30, I think it was like 30 minutes, maybe 35, but now I'm losing track. You just have to wash them. Once they start to look brown, then you know they're ready. So that's the um, potatoes. And then the sprouts and carrots, I just put in a big bowl and covered it with a towel. So that's what those ones look like. And then the chicken is almost done. Okay guys, so that is what it looks like after the five minutes of broil. The extra five minutes in the oven and then the five minutes of broil. So it's nice and like brown on top, it's all juicy. Normally it's even more juicy because I put actually like, you know, tomatoes that are supposed to be in there, but I think it'll still be delicious. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like on the plate. It is our favorite dinner, isn't it? Feeny loves it. Um, it's just so yummy. It really is. It's like eating like a full-on like roast dinner, but like it's so easy to do. And this is something I can do on a weekday. I mean, today it's Friday, but I normally don't do it on a Friday because normally we have pizza on Fridays. But today, oh, dessert. Chicken. I have the Klondike shakes. They're so good. Yeah. yeah, they are really fun, aren't they? I haven't tried one yet. Oh, well, Phoenix has, and I have, and Daddy has. But yes, here is our dinner. Man, I gave you a big portion of chicken. Yeah, you did. Yum. So yeah, it's amazing. You guys should definitely try it. Okay, so here is the cauliflower salad. Now, this one is super fresh. It's a little zesty. It's really, really lovely. It's so colorful. I saw this one on, oh my gosh, what is her name? I think it's like Carolina, Carolina Corsa something or other. She's a model and she, I kind of tweaked it a little bit for like my own aesthetics. Is that the right word? Aesthetically pleasing 
vibe. Um, I used a color or a purple cauliflower and I've also used it purple and yellow mixed and that looks so pretty as well. It just looks a little bit prettier than just a white cauliflower. Tastes delicious. It's so good. I've added a couple of things that are slightly different. I'll leave her original video but I personally like, the, I've tried it her way and then I've also done it like my way where I've added slightly different things and it is so good. I prefer it with cranberries but in I think this video I show it with apricots which is also good. I just like the texture of cranberries better and I feel like it gives a little bit more of a, a zingy flavor. It's really fresh. Like I made it for Lindsay and Brad and the first thing that Lindsay said after she took a bite was like wow that's so fresh. And that's exactly what it's like. It's a really good fresh salad but because of the cauliflower it kind of adds like this heartiness to it to where you feel full and you don't feel like you've just eaten lettuce. I hate the feeling of like cool I just ate lettuce and I'm starving. Like I'm hungry. I want to eat some food you know. So I like things that are like I'm healthy but I also feel full. So that one is really really good. And here I've got the arugula, the sprouts, um, we ran out of cranberries so we just cut up some dried apricots, we also ran out of almonds so we cut up some pistachios and then I've also got um, pepitas in here and in here I have riced some cauliflower so I just used it in my Vitamix. I had to just have to do a half a head at a time and I chop it into little bits and then I just pulse it. But this is the purple cauliflower. Is that not so beautiful? Look at that color. So we're gonna add the purple onion, or I'm sorry, the red onions to here. I just drizzle some avocado oil and then I'll put some salt and pepper. So I basically just kind of go like that. And then I use, ow, I just hit my elbow. This salt, it'll focus, the Himalayan salt and then I just put some pepper in there. And then I just cook it on like medium high heat for, I don't know, probably about like five to eight minutes. I've added the red onion. It's not so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, like the most beautiful lunch, dinner, whenever you want to eat it. Over here, I've got some lemon zest from one lemon. So I'm going to squeeze this whole lemon into this bowl. And then I'm also going to put that lemon zest in there. And then I'm also going to drizzle with some avocado oil in there as well. Okay guys, so that is what it looks like. Ooh, I'm blocking the light. Where's the light? There we go. That's what it looks like when it's all done and mixed in. Isn't that so vibrant and pretty? And the lemon made the cauliflower bright pink in some spots. So it's pink and purple and all the fun colors of the rainbow. Okay, and then this last one that I'm going to show you guys is just a really simple, like usually I will have this for lunch if I'm not having the curry chicken salad or the cauliflower rice. Um, most of the time I'll make cauliflower rice for dinner, but um, sometimes I'll have it for lunch as well. But this one is a really good one if I don't have a whole lot of time and I'm being super duper lazy, <laughs> then I will eat this. It's also a really great breakfast option. I will make this in the morning time because I like my granola to get super soft and like, I don't, what is the right word? Soft is the right word. I don't like it when my granola is crunchy. So I will make this in the morning for Jay and I, and I'll make it in a little Tupperware. And I just get Greek yogurt, which is like, I just get the Chobani 0% Greek yogurt, put a couple of spoonfuls in, and then I add my favorite granola, which I will show you guys. I, I switch it up, like there's a ton of different granolas, but I'll link down my favorites. Um, and then I will just add a drizzle of honey, mix it all up, put the lid on, and then I let it sit like out on the counter for me because I like it when it's a little bit warm because I've been using this new toothpaste and my teeth are so sensitive right now that anything that's cold is like really hurting my teeth. So lately I've just been like letting it sit on the counter. So I'll make it in the morning. I'll let it sit out on the counter so it gets a little bit like like room temperature and then I'll eat it at lunch. And so, and then with Jay, I'll put his in his lunch box to take to work with a cooler. Um, and it's so nice because once it sits, the granola gets all soft and it's almost like overnight oats but it's not, and it is super filling, super yummy, it has a little sweetness to it, it's just so delicious. And you could add like nuts if you wanted to, slippered almonds, like you could add um, some fruit. Sometimes I'll add like raspberries or blackberries to the top. Today I have mine for lunch, which I'm gonna show you. I'm literally just gonna eat it as it is because I have no fresh fruit at the moment because I have to go to the grocery store. It's just so delicious and it's so easy. So that's another really great one. And then I'm also gonna show you one of my favorite like little snack bars that I will have. Um, and also I'll, I'll show you a couple of little snacks that I like as well. Okay guys, so here is one of my other favorite lunches or snacks, whatever you want to do it. I usually do this for lunch. You could do it for breakfast too. It's just Chobani Greek yogurt. And then this is the protein, um, 
granola that I get from Bare Naked. There's another one that I really love. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll try and link it down below. So I just, I add like just a tiny little bit, like not much at all, maybe like two tablespoons. And then I add a little bit of honey and I just mix it up and let it sit. And then all the oats like get really nice and soft and it's amazing. I also really love these. These are some of my favorite little snacks. This is what I'll usually do on like my way to go get the kids for like an afternoon snack or if I feel like I need dessert after like lunch or dinner, I'll have one of these and they're so yummy. They just look like they're tiny, but they just get kind of like curb your sweet um, cravings. So those are really good. I also really, really love the V8 low sodium original vegetable juice. I'll usually have this with like a little block of Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese and that's another really great snack that I love. There you guys go, there's everything that I like to eat, my favorite meals. I hope you got some new ideas. I feel like, man, I can get in a real food rut and so it's nice to kind of like switch it up and like try out new things every now and then, especially for me because I'm so picky. I complain about my kids being picky but I'm so picky. like. It's a problem, so I really shouldn't get mad at them. I just don't like I yell at them or anything, but I just am like, don't you guys want to try it? Like this is so delicious, and then they don't. So, but I was the same way. Like I'm, I basically lived on mac and cheese my whole entire life until my mom died, and then. I don't know what I ate after that. Um, a lot of Salisbury steak and french fries. Thank you so much for watching. I will link all of the tools down below that I showed you guys here today. My Tupperware, my air fryer, my pans, my Vitamix. Check the description box for the links. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Happy eating.